Hello and welcome to our new episode on beekeeping. Today we are at Nakuru for our 14th apiary. In this episode you will learn new elements that are not in our previous apiaries. We have to treat the holes to prevent poles from termites. We must ensure that we a stable and durable foundation. We have minimized future structural problems and facilitate a smoother construction process from the beginning. Before we decide the number of hives to install, we must consider the forage around the area. This is around 30 acres of natural forest and this point is where we are constructing an apiary. This area will be beneficial for bees because it will offer a diverse and stable environment rich in food sources and protection. The wide variety of plants in this forest provides a constant supply of nectar and pollen. Bees play a vital role in forest ecosystems by pollinating trees and plants, which is crucial for their reproduction and the growth of new generations. We all know that the forest canopy provides shade and insulation, protecting bees from the harsh sun and temperature fluctuations. But we forget that bees need security from predators. The most significant tropical predators to be avoided are ants, hornets and wasps, and the honey badger. Ants can be especially damaging to honey bees in the tropics and can destroy entire colonies very quickly. Are here we bring you one of the best apiaries with amazing elements. Apiaries provide a controlled environment for managing, protecting bees and extracting bee products, which are valuable source of income for beekeepers. This is the trench we are digging, wig is a standard size. And our poles are up ready to be joined with the roof and the inner sections. For apiary design plan, please contact us on the number below on the description. This is the water trench we are laying here. First you must start with a black PVC then lay a wire mesh. The PVC acts as a vapor barrier under concrete slabs to prevent moisture from rising from the ground and potentially damaging the slab. Job and Wycliffe always follow the rules, measurements and regulations of the trench. Once the bottom slab is dry, we now construct the upper layer walls. Before construction in apiary, we must visit the site to identify the size of the apiary and to which direction will the bees flee. Thanks for subscribing and keeping watching our amazing content. We appreciate everyone for engaging us and appreciating our services. Let's unite and restore the bee. Once the trench has dried and it's firm enough, we apply fine sand with cement to smoothen the surfaces. Remember if you need the design plan please contact the number in the description. The trench is completed. We will add water after 24 hours. In this apiary, the bees will be safe from the rodents and insects because of water barrier. In this water we can also keep fish like in the second apiary. Now let's work on the inner floor of the apiary. We started by adding morum then we are now leveling with sand. This to make the underground of the apiary more warmer. To prevent our apiary floor from becoming dusty, we are adding concrete that will bring a textured cover to the sand. Ah. 
The lower six by one timber has to be vanished with all to prevent it from absorbing water that falls on the floor. We have to make sure that the concrete is well aligned. The roofing experts are making sure that they have done everything perfectly and on time. This time round we have used different iron sheets than before. And we have to install the fascia board and garters to collect rainwater. If it's your first time to watch our videos, please consider to watch more on the link in the description below. The hour round is well prepared for growing additional flowers to boost foraging. As you can see the structure is well defined and has all the elements that accommodates bees and the farmer. We have to wrap the whole structure with the chain link to prevent other animals from interfering with the hives. Our main entrance and staircase is placed at the middle of the structure. This is to reduce the materials from constructing the staircases and two doors on both sides of the apiary, as we did in our second apiary. This is the upper walking path when it has been designed to ease stress during harvest. Let's now create a tank stand for our rainwater storage. The water to be stored in this tank will be used to service the trench and garden flowers. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned and enjoyed our episode. Keep on sharing. In our next episode, we will bring you our 15 apiary from Kimbo, Nairobi. We will show you how to install the hives in this apiary later. Thanks and be blessed.